And this is basically what your equipment will look like in most standard pools. You have a filter, you have a heating unit, you have a pump for the pool, and you might have a separate booster pump for your spa. This one also has a salt cell, and it has water features for the return line. And your pump should last quite a long time. The motor may last about anywhere from 8 to 12 years. And your pump should last um, 10 to 20 years easily. You can, re you can replace the motor without replacing the pump uh, quite a few times. And the filter also, the body should last a good 15 years, 10 to 15 years before it starts cracking in the fiberglass. And um, the main problem you're going to have is this clamp does wear out over time. And between filter cleanings, this the clamp does wear out. So sometimes these wear out and you have to replace the clamp. And the filter is very important to run your pool a sufficient amount of time that at least circulate the water one time through your whole pool. And your heater's good for anywhere from 8 to 15 years. And you have to do a lot of maintenance, of course, to keep it running. Most pools have a standard automatic time clock. You just turn it on. That controls the equipment over here. So basically when you turn on the pump, it'll suck the water from the surface through the skimmer here in your pool. It may also suck from the main drain um, if you have a diverter valve in your skimmer or if the water runs low. And the pool returns through these um, jets right here in the pool. There's about four in this particular pool and there's also a return line for the spa. A lot of skimmers will have this diverter valve in here to control suction from the a skimmer or the main drain, if the water runs low, it will close off and it will suck from the main drain. That way your pump won't burn out. And you'll see this hose bib also coming out of the pump and what that's used for is when the system is running you can actually let water out if you have a lot of rain and your pool's overfilled. And it only works when the pump is running. <laughs> so you would attach a garden hose here and you would just open this up and water would come out from the pool. And again it only works when the pump is on. And here's another set of equipment, and this one has an automated control panel, the easy touch control panel. And this pipe also throws pool owners off. This is actually for the bubbles in the spa, so when you turn on the spa jets, air will actually be sucked in here to give it the bubble, the bubbling effect. And you'll hear it sucking air, so there's nothing wrong with your equipment, that's just there um, to make the spa operate with the bubbles. 